Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. As you just saw at the intro, I am once again in an exciting mountain location ready for some fun hikes this weekend. I am in Diavoletza. It's a mountain top that's about 3000 meters above sea level, so quite high up. I don't know the feet exactly, I'll put it up here for confirmation, but I think it's somewhere around 9,000 feet. I'll get into more details on the hiking paths later on, but first I want to do a little look around the hotel and see what it's all about before dinner. So let's go check it out. All right, so behind me you can see the hotel. That's where my room is. It's actually facing, or my window is actually facing the other direction, but I still get mountain views all around because we're at the top of this beautiful mountain here. The mountain is called Diavoletza, and in English, um, Diavoletza means she-devil. So we are at the Devil's Peak, or the she-devil's peak, and I am so looking forward to this. I can't get a good picture for you now, but there is also um, a jacuzzi right over there and it's actually I think it's like the highest jacuzzi in Europe or something like that I've reserved it for my use for an hour for tomorrow so after all of the hiking during the day I can relax in the jacuzzi the reason I can't show it to you now is because there's two guys in there enjoying their time in the in the jacuzzi but my time will come for that for the rest of today I think I'm just gonna hang out I have dinner included in the price of my room so I'll be enjoying that at 6 30 and just relaxing and enjoying these beautiful views after a long work week. I am so ready for it. Good morning guys, it's now the next day which is my main hiking day and I'm so excited for my hikes today. Uh, what I've done is because this is the first time I'm trying to hike at an altitude of three kilometers or close to 10,000 feet. I have no idea how out of breath I will get here. I've looked up three kind of shorter hikes, which I think will be perfect because I can then pace myself according to how, um, how fast I can go. And then I can rest in between or leave something out if it comes to that. I'm really curious to see how the altitude affects my hiking ability and my oxygen intake. I noticed yesterday when I was hiking up the stairs to the gondola that I was already out of breath and I'm hoping that that was because of the altitude and not because I'm just that out of shape. <laughs> but let me show you where I'm going today. So here is the map of the whole kind of like mountain range area where I'm at now and up here is Diavoletza where the mountain hut is located where I'm staying for two nights and there from the mountain hut there are three kind of like shorter hiking routes um, which are in total about four hours so I think that would be perfect um, I'm going to start with the number one which goes up to the peak at uh, Mount Paris and then I will probably do this glacier loop here I don't know if you can see it very well this glacier loop here and then finally I'm going to do this number two which goes to this um kind of like picnic area and maybe I'll stop there and have some snacks or lunch. Um, there should also be a place to buy like some firewood and some sausages. So let's see what I find. As always, I'm so looking forward to this and I'm happy to bring you guys along for the ride. So first, let me find out if the hiking trails are even open because this year in Switzerland, spring is really late. There's plenty of snow here still and we're kind of in like a weird in-between seasons phase. It's not the summer season yet here officially. It starts next weekend and it's not the winter season anymore because all of the ski slopes are closed. And in front of me, I see that there's kind of like the board of for the ski slopes. Um, so let's go check that out. I want to see if that has any information on the hiking routes. I doubt it because I think it's just for like avalanche warnings and ski slope openings, but let's go see. <laughs> So as I suspected, the map wasn't of much use to me. It has the ski slopes on it and that has nothing to do with hiking. I do see that there's like the one of the hiking paths to the area where I mentioned where there should be like a picnic area. That seems open. There's not a red cross, but that was the only hiking path bike because I think that's kind of like a year round hiking path even during the winter. So I guess it's now just up to me to find some hiking signs and see where it takes me. The only sign for a hiking path I found is on the roof of that building. There's this typical kind of like marking with a white, red, white kind of flag. Um, and I think 
it goes in that direction somewhere but if I don't find like the proper hiking signs soon I'm just gonna turn around and make up a new plan for today for hiking because I don't want to get lost and I don't want to go places that are not open yet yeah that's not good but I do see some footprints going that way so I'm gonna see if I can follow those and if there's like the proper markings for the hiking trail then maybe that's where I want to go see there are definitely footprints so I think that's the way I will go maybe they haven't put the hiking signs up quite yet because it's not the official summer season yet but famous last words how bad can this go right <laughs> Oh, what do I get myself into? trail it has to be the first one that I've ever been like seriously nervous hiking because there were parts that were the trail was covered by snow and it was a very steep part of the mountain and as I was going I couldn't help but think like if the snow would give out from under me I would be in big trouble and there were a couple places where I actually considered turning around but I found a safe place to cross which I felt like confident going so I, I kept on going and I'm glad I did because now the trail is getting a bit easier in terms of the snow it's mainly just kind of like climbing up this hillside here but anyway I think I've caught my breath enough so I need to continue my hike all the way to the top and then maybe there I'll tell you how my plans have changed for the rest of the day all right so I'm back I didn't get very far at all let me show you what's ahead of me so here goes the path there's the next hiking sign just up there and i think dreading actually i think the path continues there and i think it lies here in the camera a little bit about the steepness of that hill but it looks quite steep and the where i see the previous like footsteps going it seems like a really steep part and if the snow is as slippery as it is here I mean like it's frozen it doesn't like really give much under your feet so let's see if it's like that and the previous like footsteps are not super deep that I can't get a good footing then I will turn around because I'm practically where I wanted to go and even though I don't have a fear of heights I do value my own life so if it gets too dicey I'm just gonna call it a day but I think this part should still be doable so I'm gonna continue a little bit further and just see what it looks like all right so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to get where I'm going because if you look it doesn't look that steep now and here the snow is more fluffy and it's actually giving way so I feel like my footing is nice and secure and I can actually get to where I'm going. This didn't look like anywhere I wanted to be from back there, but now it's quite doable and I feel safe. So off I go. I need to find the hiking signs again. That There's one on that rock there, over there. Um, so I think I just follow the footsteps and it should loop around and finally go to the top of that 
mountain. Still doing good, still alive, <laughs> no issues. Except that was the peak that I thought I was going to. Nope, I am going to that peak. But I am very close now, like really, really close now. So I hope I will get there soon. I can definitely tell that the altitude has some impact. I can get about like 20 steps and I'm out of breath and I have to stop <laughs> and then continue going after a little bit. And I'm super glad I, I remembered to put on sunscreen because the sun is blazing and also reflecting off of the snow. So otherwise I think I'd be red as a beet after, <laughs> after today's hike. But I have sunscreen on so we're good to go. to the top and you bet I found a rock to put on top of this little pile here at the highest point of Mud Purse and oh boy it was a hike but was it a good one and I, I realized I still have to go down but I don't think that should be such an issue except I have to be really careful on those couple parts where it's really steep going covered by snow but yeah I can officially say that I am on the highest place I have ever been to with my feet on the ground. Um, I believe, let me check. Yes, so I am now at 3,206 meters above sea level. So very high. Like I said, I can definitely tell that the air is a bit thinner up here. I get out of breath quite quickly, but I don't mind it. With these 360 degree views, a little bit out of breath is not a problem. <laughs> wow. I will take a couple minutes to enjoy the views up here by myself and take it all in. back safely. Um, it was a bit dicey because the sun is really melting the snow now and at points you had to be super careful that it wouldn't give out from under you but yeah I was taking my time I took it slowly and I got back here safely. Um, what I want to still do today is do this short hiking trail to the picnic area. It was actually the shortest route out of all three that I was planning to do and considering the time that it took me to do this first one which was supposed to be like an hour and a half but considering all of my breaks and the sections that I had to take really slow because of like the steep snowy parts um, it took me a good three hours like round trip but okay I, I did a proper like picnic stop at the top of the mountain but now I think I could eat some like good lunch like an actual lunch warm lunch so let's see if I can find that picnic spot and maybe buy some sausages or something. Let's see. Um, there's also the restaurant at my hotel, but I'd rather eat somewhere outside because I'll be eating dinner there later today. So let's go take a look. So in terms of hiking, I think I'm going to call it a day. I looked where the picnic spot would go that I think anyway, I'm not sure that's the right way, but it looks to be in a, a quite an uphill trek and I am beat from my hike uphill to the mountain peak and back and battling with snow where I kept on like every few meters I kept on falling through the snow. I think I'm gonna just go back change into some dry shoes because my feet are soaked. They were taking so much snow in the shoe like through the top of the shoe otherwise they're waterproof so that's not an issue but like Oh, they ate so much snow on that trek. So anyway, changing into a dry pair of shoes and then I'm gonna go check out what the restaurant has for lunch. All right, a bit windy, but I made it for lunch. I've ordered a rosti, which should be nice and filling after a long hike. So, cheers. and mountains, 
I get to now enjoy this hot tub all by myself for the next hour. Um, it's actually the highest hot tub located in Europe, so that's something special. And when I heard that this hotel had one, I knew I had to try it out. So the hot price for the hot tub actually included a basket of fruit and um, a jug of water. And then I just bought a glass of beer to enjoy as I soak in the tub. This is just amazing. I can't wait to start enjoying these views for the next hour and relax my muscles from the hike earlier today. <sighs> this is the life. <laughs> the bus stop on my way back home this weekend was absolutely amazing and I really want to give you like a proper recap the hotel was just I mean it's like a, a mountain hut basically so there's dormitories where you have like bunk beds and shared bathrooms but what I had was like a double person room with my own bathroom and shower which I wanted and single occupancy was 155 francs a night which is about $150 a night and it was just an amazing price for what you got because the price as I said before I think included the dinner which was a four course menu it included breakfast obviously the room um, and a robe and slippers and so on uh, the service at the hotel was just amazing the people were so nice the staff was so welcoming you really felt like you were being taken care of very well um, it was a little bit of a funny like halfway season because the summer season hasn't fully started or officially started yet so not all of the hiking paths were open um, but it's also not the winter season so the ski slopes were closed but I wasn't coming here to ski anyway so that's not an issue but I did find out yesterday after I like stopped my hiking that the two other routes that I was thinking about doing weren't open so the glacier hike as I suspected wasn't open because of the snow and then the picnic area that I was mentioning where I wanted to go the picnic area was closed so I'm really glad I didn't like hike up there with my tired feet only to find out that it was closed so in the end I think the day turned out perfect the hike that I did took me a lot longer than I was planning just because of the the snow conditions and and the having to take it really slow in some parts because it was quite dicey but then in the end in the evening enjoying and relaxing in the hot tub um, and then a nice dinner to top it all off was just a perfect perfect Saturday for me so now I am going to start making my way back home and thank you guys once again for joining if you have any questions on what I did where I did my bookings or whatever just leave them in the comments below I'm happy to answer any questions you might have and I'll see you guys next time on the channel bye